Okay, objective 7.3 is describing the vertical datums in North America. So these ones are specific to North America. So there is some American tw like tendencies in this, and so that's just kind of a, a, a notice to you about that. <laughs> um, so there is that, but um, there are Canadian vertical datums as well, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that. There is only, I'm, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them because you're going to spend more time on them when it comes to geodesy and map projections, and you're going to talk about them in surveying. So I'm just giving you an idea of the ones that you're going to see on maps. And it, really it's because of the mapping projection that I'm coming from in this course that I'm going to just only refer to these ones. So there's only two, not a lot of them. Um, so the first one we are, we need to know about is the North American vertical datum of 1988, which is NAVD 88. Uh, this is the American version. So it was a collaboration between Canada, US, and Mexico. So it kind of covers all three countries. So they went around and they used tidal measurements. So they would go to Quebec and look at tides in, in Quebec and the Great Lakes. And, um, and that was in 1985. So they, they used a, a datum, the International Great Lakes Datum. In, in, in of 1985 to help with creating this North American datum. The, with, they found that the, the Great Lakes datum wasn't enough, um, especially because we we're dealing with satellites and everything else as well. So at this point, we did have some satellites out. We didn't really have a full-blown GPS doing, doing all the navigation stuff. Uh, there was some, definitely. I'm not. I'm not discounting and saying that the GPS wasn't up. It just certainly wasn't used as much as it is today. So, there. Um, they, they used these tidal measurements specifically in Quebec, but other than that, they weren't used because they found that any of the other tidal measurements in North America were not at the same equipotential surface, which is really kind of a unique. Um, concept for this particular datum. Uh, so it's like, okay, we're going to use, and, and it's very American focused, but we're going to use Quebec's equipotential surface, but we're not going to use anything else across North America. So, <laughs> so it was like a really um, very kind of cool way of looking at this. So they, they must have believed back in eight, 1988 that the that Quebec had like the geoid and it was like the potential equipotential surface that we're going to use for North America rather than for the entire earth so so that's probably why they, they did this there was there must have been some good conversation over this but um, yeah so no other tidal measurements were used for long there <laughs> so it's kind of neat um, but they did use leveling so they would level from Quebec out and like all the way through Canada and Mexico so, um, and then they place this, this vertical datum as the, like with monuments and everything else all the way across North America. So if you're working with larger maps, such as like ones that cover all of Canada or ones that cover all of the US, even some that are like smaller, which are just looking at states or just provinces. And, um, and I think they use provinces in Mexico. Somebody will have to let me know in in the discussion of what they find out. Um, so the this whole collaboration, they did all this leveling and they worked together. And now we have this data and you're going to see these maps that are, have been created um, with the, the NAVD data. So this one, because it's based off tidal measurements, has to be based off of mean sea level. So this is a geoid. It's not an ellipsoid. So that is, um, that's NAV, NAVD 88, and it, it's still used today quite a bit. Um, marine navigation still uses it as well, so it's just something to keep in mind. Now we also have the Canadian geodetic vertical datum of 2013. So this was a nice update because it's a lot more recent, um, but this one is specific for Canada, and it replaces one that was significantly older, like 85 years older. <laughs> So, so it replaces the Canadian geodetic vertical datum of 1928. So um, I, as you can see, they put a lot of money into updating this all the time. <laughs> so that's something to keep in mind with geomatics is that these large datums, um, if, they're, if it requires field work, it requires a lot of work between different government um, 
government organizations to be able to work them out. So it's kind of a, an, it's a very expensive process to do this. So this one was defined by the equipotential surface of North American mean sea level. So it wasn't specific to Quebec. So that's another thing to look at. Um, it was an agreement between US and Canada. So Mexico was kind of left out on this one. But um, it, it is really more specific to, to Canada with a more Canadian focus, just because we have a lot more um, land closer to the North Pole. So, and, and that's both mag magnetic and um, rotational North Pole. So we now, there is anything that was published from the 1928 vertical datum is now kind of trumped by the the 2013 vertical datum so the age of the network of the 1928 is just really old and natural resources canada cannot confirm that the accuracy is good anymore um, especially because the the physical monuments could have moved um, it's not like we have a lot of earthquakes here but there is erosion, there is movement of tectonic plates, like we sit on a tectonic plate, so we're still moving. There is um, post-glacial rebound, which is another really interesting phenomenon. Plus we have um, the, the, the rising ocean on top of that. So we have a lot happening um, and our earth is constantly moving and we live on a constantly moving surface. So, so NRCAN was just like, we, it's been two, 85 years is too long. We cannot say that it's going to be very accurate. We can't even say that it's going to be super accurate based on the original um, geoid that the um, CGVD was 1928 was based on. So that, that's another thing to keep in mind. So, um, so the 2013 kind of prevails. It is the most accurate one that we can use. So that is, um, that's the CGVD 13 in 2013 that you guys will probably be using mostly in surveying. Any new updated maps that you get, that whether it be topographic or thematic or whatever, that use this datum, now you know where it comes from and why we had to do it because we just could not confirm the accuracy because it was just too old before. So that is everything there. So there is, again, my references. Please use these as like study material and go check them out and see what, what information is in there. There is lots and lots of information on projections, on vertical datums, on the, the surfaces that we were talking about before um, in the other objectives. So please use these references as, your, as some extra information on top of the textbook. Make sure you're reading the textbook. I guess I should be saying that at the end of every, <laughs> every slideshow. Anyways, all right, so we will be moving on to 7.4.